So if you want to record a voiceover in Shotcut, this is how you do it. Quick thing to mention, I'm running the latest version of Shotcut, so if you want access to this feature, go get the newest version. I know Shotcut updated a few things. I also noticed a few bugs on the macOS version of the Intel and M1 Mac options, but the Windows version is working perfectly. So if you have a Mac, just wait till the new update comes out and hopefully they will have fixed that. But the process is still the same for both versions. Now the first thing you want to do is make sure that your mic is connected to your computer before opening up Shotcut. And then go to the toolbar and select the open other icon or you can go to file and select open other. From there a new window or drop down menu will appear and you will select on the audio video device option. Under the audio input, you can see the different mics that you can choose from, depending on how many mics you have. From there, you can choose whichever mic you want to use. For me, I'm just going to use my Shure microphone. Now, if this is the first time you're doing this, you will have a pop-up asking you if you allow Shotcut to have access to your mic or camera, depending on what you're connecting. Just press yes to connect your mic and then click OK to close that window. And as you can see, the preview screen has turned white and is picking up some audio from your mic. Don't panic, just hit stop on the playback settings and then go to your timeline and select on your video clip and it should instantly switch back to normal. Now that your mic is connected, you can go back to your timeline and start recording. If you look at your audio meter window here, depending on where you placed it in your workspace, you will see the audio levels moving when you're recording. That just lets you know that your mic is connected. Just make sure it doesn't reach the red or your audio will be too loud and it won't sound good. But before that, a quick tip. Another cool feature that Shotcut added is the notes feature, which you can find in the top toolbar or in this little tab right here. This basically lets you write and keep notes about your project, or it can act as a place to hold your script to read while you're recording, just like I'm doing right here. Now to start recording, just go to this little menu icon right here with the three lines and select on track operations to place a new audio track. This is where your audio will be. Then you can position your playhead, this little line right here, and place it wherever you want to in the video to start recording your voiceover. All right, so time for tip number two. Make sure you put your computer volume all the way down before you record. That way the audio doesn't play through your speakers while recording, which did happen to me. So just a heads up. Once you got everything ready, you will notice that on your timeline toolbar up here, there is a record audio icon that you can press to start. Now this next sequence that you're about to watch is the same video here on screen and the voiceover that I'm about to do, just so you can get an idea of how it works and sounds. So see you in a little bit. A quick thank you to Motion Array for partnering up with the channel. As you know, Motion Array is basically a one-stop shop for all your video post-production needs. They contain a large array of premium quality templates, stock videos, and music music for you to download to help you make better videos faster and easier. All you gotta do is make an account with them and you will have access to all of the free assets available and you can find whatever you need and download it in just a few clicks. Just that easy. And each template and asset also comes with a tutorial just in case you need some help. Or you can try one of the many subscription plans that Motion Array offers and download whatever you want and use it whenever you want to. You can cancel at any time and all your assets will still be covered. So if you want to try it out, you can use my link in the description and try it out for free. And if you decide to register for any type of subscription, you'll be making yourself a favor and you'd be supporting the channel as well. So thank you. Wow, just look at me recording the ad read and doing the tutorial at the same time. But aside from that, once you're done, you can press the record audio icon again to stop the recording and you are all done. And you can see the new recorded clip on your audio track. Now I'm going to show you where you can find some more tools that you can use to edit your audio aside from just cutting and splitting it. If you select your audio clip in this track and go to the filter tab here and select on the plus button and switch to the audio page up here, you can find a variety of audio filters and effects that you can apply to make your audio sound even better, just like I'm doing right here. Now I'm not going to go super into depth, I just want to show you where you can find more of these tools to edit your audio. In fact, Shotgun has a dedicated page that you can switch to in this top toolbar called the audio page. And there you can edit your audio with even more control. And that's all to it. Now, if you want to export your video or just the audio, you can just export it over here and choose the H.264 for video or the WAV or MP3 for audio. However, if you want the best settings to export on Shotcut, I made a super detailed video that you can go check out. Now, if there are more effects that you want to learn how to do in Shotgun, feel free to watch my whole series. But like always, if you have any questions or suggestions, leave them in the comments. Hope this helps. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.